Hi, welcome to Gray Cloud Elementary School. I'm Laura Leshek. I'm the principal here and I'm really excited to talk to you a little bit about our College and Career Readiness Month. We're going to start by talking with Amy Kessner, one of our fabulous staff members who led this endeavor. Amy, would you kind of talk about why we started this and the purpose of this month? Yes. Um... We've talked that our ultimate goal is for every student who walks through our school doors to be successful and happy when they grow up. Mm -hmm. And we want to use education as a tool to help students explore interests or academic strengths to help achieve that goal. Um, we believe our job goes beyond these school walls and preparing students for college and a future career is just as important as the curriculum we teach. I think Julia Child said it best when <laughs> she's a very wise woman. Um, says she said once that you can't know everything about anything, especially when it's something that you love. And I think that was kind of our ultimate goal for the month was to have students start thinking about what they love to do because when you truly love something, that's when that um, it will ignite that passion for lifelong learning. And I'm glad you said that because I had a parent who came to me and said they were skeptical about why we were talking about college in the elementary building. And I, once she kind of found out about what we were doing, she was really excited. And we kind of took the fear away from it and really talked a lot more about what kids love. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about, it was, it was kind of a whole staff endeavor, and I know you were certainly part of the leadership, but what did staff do for this month? Um, starting at the beginning of the mar uh, March, the staff took initiative to write to their alma maters and um, just give them a little background information about Grey Cloud, um, why we are um, exploring college this early in life, and then request maybe some donations of college gear. And we were overwhelmed by the amount of t-shirts and pennants and and stickers and pens that we got from all the institutions. So we put it to good use and had a number of contests through the month. And it was really nice for the colleges too because they were feeling like, wow, this is some great potential um, <laughs> registration opportunities up the line and some interest. So we got lots of cool letters back as well. Yes. You know, for the students, what was their involvement as the month started and progressed? Um, earlier or mid-March, we had the students um, participate in a pennant decorating contest. They were able to bring a blank pennant home and um, decorate it with a college of their choice. Some chose ones that their teachers went to, um, some chose ones that older siblings or parents had gone to, and some just researched. Um, the pennants have been displayed all month, the whole month of April in the halls, and weekly we had drawings um, of pennant winners and students could receive a prize who entered the contest. And in fact, we had so many donations that every pennant entry received a college gear item. And it was really exciting for the kids um, and actually really educational for all of us. Um, they had actually come up with the team they worked with too, had little blurbs that I read in announcements every morning about different college facts, the economics, the different majors. They certainly varied and we even tied it into our MCA testing, why testing really gets you prepared for the testing that you might need to do to get into college. So it was some good conversation and learning for all of us. Right. Um, you know, we did some good kickoff efforts. Can you talk about how we started this month? Yeah, yeah. we um, sent in a letter to Goldie Gopher from the mm -hmm. University of Minnesota to have him come and get the students really pumped up about our college and career month. And he was a great addition to the, the start of the college month. And, and we found out how fun it is to be a mascot. I think some of the children might want to be one. Oh, yes. He was up on lockers. Um, he, was, he sat in our meetings and was animating our gestures and making us laugh. And during carpool, it was really amusing that he would get into the vehicles and welcome kids to school. So certainly the, the kids are learning that there is some fun to be had in college, too. And I think that's one of the pieces that's dismissing the fear for them. I think that was one thing that I heard most often from staff is just the conversations that the students were having and the questions that they were asking about college and that's what our intent was is just to kind of you know open the door that this is a possibility for everybody um, and that was some of the things of you know who where do you where do you live when you go to college mm -hmm. and what's dorm life like how do you eat and and so they just had general questions like that which was was fun to answer and talk about and I think it spurred a lot of conversations in families too because sometimes college is scary some of the brothers and sisters go away and mm -hmm. they don't come back and live with the family so I think it helped dismiss some of that stuff and helped them learn the progression um, you know our building is just 
full of lots of different college and career readiness types of pieces that feature some of the staff, some right, right outside my door. <laughs> Would you talk to us a little bit about what we have displayed? Yes, um, we initially did just a college poster of each staff member and it was with their undergrad degree. Mm -hmm. And so they were wearing, probably wearing their college gear. Um, it highlighted the institution they went to, where the institution was, and we have them mapped out in distances on your wall. Yeah. And um, then they uh, also highlighted some extracurricular activities that they may have participated in. And the students love seeing if they were in sports or, or clubs, things like that. Um, we also have a large map that um, highlights where different staff members have studied abroad mm -hmm. and talked about that as a possibility when you go to college. And finally, the last little display of staff is um, little graduates in the Commons area uh, of student or staff members who have received a master's degree. And that's kind of interesting. I remember last year we did similar. We started this initiative, mm -hmm. and I remember last year my mind must have fallen down, and the kids had said, "Oh, Mrs. Leshek, you don't need to go to college to be a principal." And I said, "Oh, yes, you certainly do." <laughs> so we had lots of good discussions. So I think that's one of the greatest pieces that we're having discussions. Mm -hmm. You know, they're happening at home, they're happening in the classroom, and they're really even connecting to other staff. Oh, I didn't know you went to right. UWL. I wasn't there at the time. So I think yeah. it's been really nice for a climate building piece oh, as well. Oh, definitely, yes. And we are an AVID school, so in fifth grade we have some of the training, so it really ties in nicely to that college and career piece. So um, fifth grade has nice natural tie-ins as well. Right, yeah. Um, to end the month, will you talk a little bit about the essay contest we had? Yes, um, some of the prizes we got from the universities and colleges that responded were a number of t-shirts. And so we decided that we would do some an initiative to have students write a college essay. Um, the contest was preschool through fifth grade. Everyone could enter and it was tiered toward their level. So we had um, a simple entry of just what do you want to be when you grow up, all the way to the fifth grade students um, making great essays um, about what they want to be when they grow up, why they choose that profession, and then an institution that's going to support their goal. Yeah, so there was lots of great work that happened during this month and it's something that is not just um, framed to this month. I think we really have a strong emphasis right now, but I know earlier there, the, earlier this year your kids had started this process. Right. And we had uh, one of our students received lots of, um, lots of great trinkets, lots of great mm -hmm. awards, lots of honors from the school. And do you want to talk a little bit about that, how it's ongoing? It is an yeah. ongoing process. Um, at the beginning of the year I had my class um, talk about what they wanted to be when they grow mm -hmm. up and at home have that same conversation and then um, at home they found a college that would support that dream. Um, we even had someone who wants to be an equestrian and there's a school in, it's in Ohio called Finlay that will support that goal. Wow. So if you can think it, there's something out there to support it. Um, and my students wrote to these different colleges and universities and um, received information back. Some received prizes. Um, a student did get uh, contacted by Hennepin Technical College yes. and um, you know made his dream come true to meet some future firemen and, and that's what his goal was. And it's just, a, it's an ongoing conversation. We try to then um, weekly look at their college online and explore. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of great resources out there to just view little video clips, um, take tours of campuses, and it just it gets them interested in talking about their future. Absolutely, and I think this is just one of the ways in South Washington County we really want to ignite the passion for learning, and we want it to be lifelong, and the more we can infuse it into our daily activities, and it's what we do, the more likely it is for our kids to really dream big. So, right. Amy, thank you to you and your committee for all your help, and it's been an exciting month for us. Well, thank you. Well, now we'll have the opportunity to read some of those exciting essays and hear from the kids. I think you'll be delighted to hear how thoughtful they were and enjoy their hopes and dreams from here on. I'm a Boston Widener and I'm in grade three. When I grow up, I want to be a major league baseball player for the Boston Red Sox. But before I get to the major leagues, I want to go to college at Boston College University and get my de college degree in sports management and bar marketing. I want to go to Boston College because it is many diff has many different sports teams that I like. The, uh, they have a really good baseball, hockey, and football program. They also have four professional sports teams. These are the Boston Red Sox, Boston Bruins, New England Patriots, and the Boston Celtics. I could go to watch my favorite teams play. They also have a lot of summer amateur baseball leagues during the summer. So
so I could go to school during the summer if I wanted to wanted and still play baseball. The reason why I chose a sports management and marketing degree is because I want to learn the different sports parts of sports teams and also learn how to make and sell customized sports jerseys. I think Boston would be a great place to learn and play sports because of all of the different schools and teams around the city of Boston. Other schools in Boston are Boston University, University of Massachusetts, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and Hartford. There are a lot of other schools around Boston too. When I am retired from playing baseball, I would like to be a sports coach. I would like to coach baseball or hockey. By getting my degree in sports management and marketing, I will learn how to be a great coach. I would probably start coaching in college and someday hopefully coach the Boston Red Sox. These are all the reasons I would like to go to Boston College when I grow up. My name is Rory McNamara and I'm fifth grade. When I grew up, I wanted to go to the College of St. Scholastica for architecture and interior design. Ever since I was little, I've loved building houses out of Legos, and ever since about two years ago, I've loved setting furniture up in dollhouses. I think architecture is right for me because there's so many possibilities by just getting a degree in architecture. Also pay, architecture also pays good, if I, so if I do end up going to college for it, I could live in a house and be able to pay bills without worries. Interior design is also a good job. I'm interested in it. From about two years ago, I like to set up furniture and I'm constantly trying to make it better. I'll even change the furniture to make things better. When I grow up, I want to go to the College of St. Scholastica for architecture and interior design. I hope you can help me pursue the goals I've set for myself. I am Ethan Rizlov and I am in grade five. When I grow up, I want to be an animator and go to Madison Media Institute. There I would try to earn a degree in game design or animation. A four-year tuition costs about $95,268. I would try my hardest to be accepted. The cost per year to attend is 23817 for the academic year and 11908 per semester. At this rate, I will be going to college in eight years, and it will cost about uh, 167213 for a four-year degree. I chose Madison Media Institute because it is close to my family in Minnesota and I could visit my family often. I wish to get accepted. My name is Josephine Marchrude, and when I grow up, I want to be a performer. My one dream college is, certain, is certainly Juilliard. I want to entertain either to make people smile or to move them to tears. I was truly born to entertain. I love all of Juilliard's majors, including dance, drama, music, and many other performing arts. Juilliard offers the largest music division with approximately 600 students from over 40 different countries. For dance, I can get a four-year undergraduate class learning, leading to a bachelor's degree in fine art. I want to major in dance and minor in drama. Juilliard's drama division will teach me to show emotion and perform my best. I also want to go to Juilliard because it is in New York and I just adore New York. I know that New York is quite far from Minnesota, that I am so devoted to going to Juilliard that that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make to follow my dream. Great Cloud Elementary is passionate about ensuring all students are ready for college. For more information, please contact Principal Laura Lushek at 651-768-4203.